everyone, and Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Sharon Krowitz, your president. This January, we are celebrating our 62nd anniversary as a part of Ikebana International. It is our tradition to honor our past presidents at this meeting, and we are pleased that so many are with us today and happy to share their arrangements. It is also a pleasure to welcome our members from the Japanese consulate. Please meet our honorary president, Mrs. Kaori Higuchi. Good afternoon, everyone, and Happy New Year. I would like to thank Gebana International San Francisco Bay Area Chapter President Sharon Crowlitz, the board, and all of you very much for inviting me to join your first meeting of the new year. I hope that you have all enjoyed a safe, warm, and refreshing holiday season. Although I was looking forward to meeting everyone, I am grateful for the focus on health and safety in continuing to hold virtual programs for the time being. I am certain that it will be sooner rather than later when we can finally gather in person. In these trying times, it is so wonderful for all of you to have this forum, not only to share the beauty of Ikebana and Japanese culture, but also to support and learn from each other. I am very much looking forward to today's presentation from past presidents, and I wish all of you a happy 2022. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Higuchi, for your kind words. Now I would like to introduce Ms. Yumiko Ishii, our patron advisor. Good afternoon, a happy new year. I hope you had a relaxing new year holiday. I'm glad to join you for Ikebana International San Francisco Bay Area Chapter's first meeting of 2022. We at the consulate greatly appreciate the chapter's vigilant consideration to hold this meeting virtually in light of the recent surge of COVID cases. Although we have not met in person yet, I feel we are still connected to each other through Ikebana and an appreciation of Japanese art and culture, for which I am very great grateful. I give my deepest thanks to the Ikebana International San Francisco Bay Area Chapter for their continuous efforts in, in keeping us connected throughout the past difficult years. I look forward to seeing all of you and your gorgeous arrangement on screen today and in person when it is safe to do so. Once again, I wish everyone a happy new year and a healthy new year. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ishii. We are very happy that you could join us today. Now I'm going to turn the program over to today's chairman, Louise Aoling. Good afternoon. Welcome to our 62nd anniversary program titled Back Home Again. We almost made it back to an in-person meeting. However, a surge in COVID infections has brought us back to our Zoom format. As it is a celebration meeting, we have more than our usual number of demonstrators and side arrangers. Four past presidents will be demonstrating along with 12 side arrangers who will be sharing their work with you. The 12 side arrangers are past president, Carol Gray of the Sugetsu School, two other past presidents, Joan Finney and Liz Vernon had also wanted to participate, but were unable to do so due to technical issues. They, however, have asked me to convey their anniversary greetings to all. The remaining side arrangers are Sumi Metz from the Aratami School, Hiroko Maeda from
from the Enshu school, Alka Barkova from the Ichio school, Joseph Lamb and Sandra Hatcher from Ikinobo, Ikebana, Setsuko Iwami and Yasuko Nike from the O'Hara School, Elin Rosenquist and Robin Torres from the Sugetsu School, and Susan Okada and Keith Susa Corpet from the Wafu School. Good afternoon. I'm Carol Gray, past president of the chapter. And I study Sogetsu School with my sensei, Ron Brown. And today I made an arrangement using curly hazelnut, uh, nandina, and carnations. And uh, I hope you enjoy the program today. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. My name is Suni Letts from Aratame School, and I made a New Year's arrangement, long needle pine, and bamboo, and plum, and uh, kale to cheer up. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Irene Jenkins, and I study in Kibana in the Aratame School, and my teacher is Sumi Metz. I'm a longtime potter, so today I am using a vase that I made. In it, I had red bark maple from a tree in our yard, and I crisscrossed the branches, kind of thinking of it as modern art, but then it does occur on the tree that way also. I also have Japanese aurelia and some wonderful lilies. Thank you very much, bye. My name is Hiroko Maeda. I'm the, from the Enshi school. And then my, uh, I made the arrangement, uh, uh, spring arrangement is Narcissus flowers. And then I found these branches um, with lichen while walking in, the, in my neighborhood. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Alka Bhardo from Nichio School. Today, my focus has been on balance. So for that, I've got a beautiful mezzanita branch as my base, and then two multi-opening uh, containers. And the materials I've used are pine, uh, a very special lily, which is rose lily, and it's some berries. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, may this year be full of love, luck, and laughter throughout this year. Thank you. Hello everyone, happy anniversary. My name is Sandra Hatcher and I study Ikenobo Ikebana with Mieko Takeda. Today for our anniversary celebration, I've arranged a, a Rika Shimputai. This is a relatively new style in Ikenobo introduced in 1999. And living in Sacramento, the weather is quite austere. So it's foggy and it's cold. And so I decided I saw these alliums and I decided to make a congratulatory arrangement. So my concept is that the alliums are a bottle of champagne popping to celebrate our 62nd anniversary. So my main materials are allium, sweet huckleberry, and then for depth and anchor, I have tulip, aspidestra, red dogwood, pittosporum, golden sticks, a little bit of hypericum, chrysanthemum, and pine. Happy anniversary. I hope I get to see you in person soon. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Joseph Lam and I'm the president of Ikinobu, California Pacific Chapter. Today I did a uh, shoka Ishike and the material that I use is Narcissus, uh, Chinese phrase name. Um, to wish everybody a happy and healthy new year. The container that I use is a very classic container called Skynami. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. So, good afternoon, everyone. And then, happy new year. My name is Setsuko Iwami from Ohara School of Ikebana. 
I've been practicing Ikebana under the guidance of Mitsuko Mariyama Sensei. Today, I may take an upright style arrangement. In this arrangement, I use flowering peach branches combined with white lily and red gladiosa. And those materials are met with gold and a silver container and the display next to the hanging scroll. The writing on a hanging scroll is shoju senen no midori, means pine trees are green for thousand years, so which means a longevity. I created this arrangement to celebrate Happy New Year and our chapter's 62nd anniversary. Thank you very much. A Happy New Year. My name is Yasuko Naiki. I'm with the Ohara School. My teacher is Mrs. Fujimoto. Today, I made an arrangement uh, called the color scheme, the color method, the upright style Moribana. I used five different materials. The heliconias, the dracenas, the eucalyptus pods, the mimosas, and the leucodendron. I hope these tropical plants will make you feel a little bit warm during these cold weathers. Thank you. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Elon Rosenquist. I'm a Sagatsu arranger. My teacher is uh, Ron Brown. The container I'm using is a Bruno Cart container. Um, I think it came from a, uh, an II sale. I can't exactly remember. I have a feeling that my teacher actually twisted my arm to buy it, but I, and I'm very glad. Tubing, which has uh, been oxidizing for a long time. Um, and the plant material in there is uh, roses, cosmos, um, uh, baby's breath, and um, some green stuff that I have no idea <clears throat> what it is, and it comes from the vast and wonderful gardens of Trader Joe's. So enjoy. Thank you. Hi, my name is Robin Torres. My flower name is Soyo. I study Sogetsu design and my sensei is Ron Koto Brown. And for today's arrangement, I've used five materials, pine, Asiatic lily, baby's breath, hydrangea, and plum branch. My container is ceramic with a metallic finish and I style it in an upright nigiri fashion. Thank you so much. I miss all of you and happy new year. Hello everyone, Happy New Year. I'm Susan Okada and I study Wafu Ikebana with Mrs. Fusako Sega Hoira. In my arrangement today, I've used um, flowering ume um, branches because those are one of the first flowers to bloom um, even while it's still winter. And so that gives us hope and the Roses and pine are used for um, long life. My sensei was gracious enough to uh, get me branches of the ume brand, um, flowers and black pine from her garden. So happy new year. Good afternoon. My name is Keith Sousa Corpet and I study Wafu Ikebana. It is my pleasure to participate in doing a New Year's arrangement. And today I used a couple of the traditional uh, materials. I have black bamboo, two different types of pine, chrysanthemum and baby's breath. Pine symbolizes longevity and endurance, while bamboo symbolizes growth, prosperity and strength. I wish all of these for you and so much more in the new year. Akimashite omerito. Happy New Year. Thank you. 
Thank you all for sharing your beautiful arrangements with us today. Our first demonstrator is Sharon Kowitz. Sharon studies Ikebana with Fusako Horeb. She holds the Gakukan degree from the Wafu School and serves on the board of the California Wafu Kai chapter. Sharon is the current and past president of Ikebana International San Francisco Bay Area chapter. She is also member of the Ikebana Teachers Federation. She exhibits at both the San Francisco and the Cupertino Cherry Blossom Festivals and provides a weekly arrangement at the Cupertino Sports Center. Hello everyone, here I am again. And today I would like to show you my interpretation of a New Year's arrangement. I was not able to get bamboo, which is traditional, but I chose this container, which is one of my favorite and reminds me of many of the two-tiered bamboo arrangers, arrange containers rather. And I am using Mandina, known as Heavenly Bamboo, which is from my yard. In the interest of full disclosure, I've already inserted my main branch and I have wired it to the container so that it'll stay in the position uh, where I want it. I'm going to add some more Nandina now. I like the colors of all the leaves. I think they add a lot to the arrangement. And I'm also going to use both uh, containers and have a little arrangement on the top also. Not sure I'm tall enough for this one. I like the lacy leaves of the Nandina against the metal container. The pine that I have today is Australian pine. It's graceful and bendable and best of all, doesn't get sap on your hands. So I enjoy using that. This has sprouted, the split in the top makes it more interesting. And I'll put some in the back for depth. I'm going to be adding red roses to this arrangement. They go well with the berries and also the contrast is nice. For the, uh, to brighten up the arrangement. I 
I think the hardest part of an arrangement is talking while I work because I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing. So now I've put in the roses. I'm going to add Veronica, the white gives a little brightness to the arrangement. And also it has such an interesting shape too. Give you an idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to add in some more Veronica, but I wanted you to show you what it's looking like. Since I'm celebrating the new year, I gave a thought to adding fireworks. I'll show you. I've been saving these, thinking that I'd find a good use for it. And then I realized that in a bit, instead of adding the gold agapanthus, I would use this red, where did I put it? Piece of red plastic that I bought at one of our II bazaars. I've enjoyed using it, and I personally don't think you can have too much red ever. As you know, I'm the lady with the red car carrying a red purse, and red just makes me happy. So I'll add that to my arrangement. There we go. And I want to wish you a happy new year. Thank you. Mitsuko Marayama began her Ikebana studies in 1971 in the Ohara School with Grandmaster Suio Fujimoto. In 2019, she received Ohara School sub Grandmaster's degree. She currently teaches in Fremont. For more than 50 years, Marayama has been an active member of several Ikebana organizations. She is the president of the Ohara Ikebana School of Northern California chapter and a member of North American Ohara Teachers Association. She is the past president of Ikebana International San Francisco Bay Area chapter and the Ikebana Teachers Federation in the Bay Area. Thank you, Louise, for your kind introduction. 
Happy New Year, everyone. My name is Mitsuko Maruyama from Ohara Ikebana School. My sensei is Mrs. Fuji Suyo Fujimoto. I served as president from 2004 to 2006. Today, I will demonstrate limpa style arrangement. This arrangement is based on highly decorative work of the limpa school painting during the Edo period. The arrangement is to replicate the decorative quality of materials and the design is affected typical limpa painting. Today, I use the dry bamboo painted in gold to showing New Year festivities. I also using a pine, chrysanthemum, and ilex, the red berries, and kumazasa, and mizuhiki, which is the rice paper cord. Hope you will enjoy. I already placed this bamboo because I need to uh, pound it in so this will stay st stiff and hard. So this is the main. And first I'll be using the mums. this three months the yellow months consider as a goal so right by the goal bamboo now I have pine branch Fresh bamboo is so hard to uh, pay in, so hopefully this will stay.
be using, I think I put this through early, I'll take this off, and I'll be putting this eyelets, berries. So you have to do it over. Then I have another eyelid. <clears throat> okay, coming out from here. And then I'll be using the kumazasa. It's called sasa di cherry.
nice and low. And this is Nizihki to express the festive for you. This is a rice paper cord. So this will conclude my limpa arrangement. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy. Ron Brown began his studies in Sugetsu in 1979 and currently studies with Kika Shabata. He holds the rank of Kuman. Ron has been a member of the San Francisco Ikebana International Bay Area chapter for over 40 years and has held many positions throughout his long association with the organization, including past president. He is the director of the Sugetsu San Francisco Bay Area branch and a member of the Sugetsu Teachers Association in Tokyo. He is also on the board of the Ikebana Teachers Federation. Well, happy new year, everybody. Um, and welcome to our program. These is rather a non-traditional New Year's arrangement, if you will. These branches are some old cherry branches that I've had for a very long time. And uh, my thought when I looked at these branches is that this has been a tough year tough year, tough three years in Sonoma County. What with uh, fires and the COVID and all those other kinds of nasty things going on. So I decided 
these branches reminded me of our fire season and how you are left with these forms after the fire season of these branches. So I'm just gonna wire these in place real quick so that they don't go falling around, flailing around rather. At least I think I'm gonna wire these in place. These branches actually came from my second sensei, Shuko Kabayashi. It was a cherry tree that he had in his yard and kind of wasn't doing too well. So he chopped it down, kind of a George Washington kind of thing. And uh, he gifted them to me, which I was very happy about. Okay. And by myself today, so um, times like these, I think I need three or four hands. And one more at the top. Just to make sure everybody is happy. Actually, that works out just fine. Okay, so this is the basic structure of uh, the arrangement. And this is Nandina from my yard of the, the green and uh, the red. I want to have the red just kind of peeking through. One crack is okay when you bend a branch. Two cracks, you've lost the ability of these uh, branches to soak up water. Okay. Then these did not come from my yard. I wish. These are pink proteas. And I chose this color because it was readily, you could see it very clearly through the branches. But also, um, pink always reminds me of the first flowers that come out in the spring.
but there isn't a whole lot of space in this mouth of this container with these branches because the branches are quite thick. I don't know about you all, but uh, I tend to talk to my flowers when they aren't necessarily behaving like they should. Excuse me? All right, so this is bamboo that I split in half and spray or painted the interior red. Bring the other two pieces.
So I hope you enjoy this rather Sonoma County kind of uh, New Year's arrangement. And I look forward to seeing you all in person, hopefully sooner rather than later. So thank you for being part of this program. Happy, uh, happy New Year and happy anniversary. Tang Nguyen has served as president of Ikebana International San Francisco from 2012 to 2014, and again from 2016 to 2018. She is the current president of the Ikebana Teachers Federation. Tang is trained in both Wafu and Sugetsu Ikebana. She holds the Gakukan degree in Wafu and the Yonin Somu degree in Sugetsu. In 2014, she spent the summers taking courses at Mami Flower Design School in Tokyo, where she was awarded certificates in Hana Kubari. Tang has been teaching Ikebana for over 20 years in the Bay Area. She moved to the Central Coast in early 2020 and began her Zoom classes and it's doing so until today. She also started teaching at Cuesta College last fall. Tang has demonstrated solo on many Ikebana international programs, garden clubs, private events for their fundraising programs. She exhibits annually at the Bocada Arts at the De Young Museum and has also exhibited in Paris, Vietnam, Milan, Japan, and many Ikebana events throughout the United States. Well, good afternoon and also happy new year, happy anniversary. Today is a new year theme. So my new year theme is gonna be red and white, a very typical celebratory colors of the new year, Japanese uh, celebration for the new year. I have, this container is from um, Thomas and Kathy Arakawa. It's fairly good. So if you see my size here with the container, the container is really big, big gigantic. It's heavy. So what I did was I inserted a, a, small, a smaller uh, insertion plastic inside and I put water in there. So I don't have to fill the water to, um, with the container, which is so big. I'm using long needle pine. And this long needle pine is from the parking lot downtown Pazerovo. I moved down in the center coast last, uh, in March of uh, 2020. And the first thing I do was just, you know, whenever I drive around, I look around to see what kind of material I can get. So here I spot the perfect place to get long needle pines downtown Pazero, which is very good for New Year arrangement. Now my next material here is a gigantic bamboo. Now you can, you normally see bamboo very straight, but this one is very curly, curvy, and that's kind of unusual. And it's an antique thing. I bought it from um, an antique store, a Japanese antique store. It's quite heavy. And I'm gonna try to manage this to see if I can avoid some catastrophe here. I like the part that is curvy because it's kind of unusual when you talk about bamboo. So putting it here in this vase and trying to balance it, the vase has to be quite heavy to support this bamboo. Oh, wow, it stays. Oh. The next one is Piracanta. Piracanta has a lot of berries by this time of the year. And it is also cut from the side of the road when I drive by. 
really nice red color. Here, it has a lot of form, so you know when you use this material, you have to be careful because the thorn can be very dangerous. Normally, if I I would remove some of the leaves here, but when when I do arrangement of the size like this. It's probably not necessary to remove all the leaves. Well, I, I realized that one of the uh, benefit of making an arrangement on Zoom here is that instead of having to guess what it looks from, from the front, you can really tell by just looking at the screen. So, so that's pretty, it's a very convenient. The long me that little pine trees usually is very tall and it's very hard to reach it unless if there are some shoots coming out from the bottom that you can reach and thankfully I was able to get a lot of this from the bottom. My next material is baby bread and that's the white part of the design. I got the baby breath from, from Trader Joe. They come with very long, long stems. So I'm living down here in Central Coast. It's not like when I was in San Francisco before. Material is very limited what I can do. So I got more, a lot of my material from from, uh, from the road. From, I started a garden last year. And flowers, I, can, I got it from um, Trader Joe and uh, this, the grocery store. So it's pretty limited to what I can have. The, the screen is white, so it's kind of hard to see the baby breath from, um, from the white screen. However, you can see it, it with the red berry here, so it come out pretty nice when you see that, that contrast. So to finish this arrangement, I'm going to add a little bit more of a photo here. And this is uh, Mitsuhiki. It's red and white. 
and it is also very special material for New Year, a New Year arrangement. I attach a little stick to it so I can put it in where I want. And this the typical way of tidying the Mitsuke is called the rising sun. Oh, maybe let's make it more front so it show a little bit better. Clean up a little bit. Okay, so this is my way of wishing you a happy new year and happy anniversary to Ikebana International. And please stay safe and be well. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all in person very, very soon. Thank you. Thank you to all our participants for bringing us together with Ikebana while we are isolated. This program can be seen again on our website, ikebana.org, as well as on Facebook. Our next meeting is February 18th. Watch for details in your email and stay safe and healthy. So long.